Hey, what's up, Climber Nation? Patrick here. So over the years, I have covered quite a few of the different um, eye-to-eye climbing hitches for tree climbing. And uh, one that I have yet to cover is my current favorite, which is the Canute hitch. Um, so similar to my video from years ago where I showed the, uh, the similarity between the Schwabish and the Diesel, I'm going to try to show the similarity between the, the Michikan and the Canute. Uh, so the Michikan is one that I've covered already in the past. So let's just take a quick look at how we tie the Michikan. I don't really use it much anymore, but uh, it is a really nice hitch. So this is a 28-inch uh, hitch cord. So the way, that we, uh, the way that we count wraps, I think I've actually shown this wrong in the past, but the way that we count wraps is if we go like that, that would be one wrap, okay? So this is two, so this is three, and this is four, okay? So for the Micha can, what I'm gonna do after, after taking my four wraps, I'm going to adjust it so that this top leg is much longer than the bottom leg, okay? And from there, it's gonna finish very similar to a Blake's hitch. So it's gonna cross, pass in front of the bottom leg, it's gonna pass behind the climbing line, and then it's gonna poke up through a loop in the bottom of the uh, of the line there okay and then I, and then i'm going to dress it so that both legs both terminal legs are are the same length okay so that's the michikan i don't know if you guys remember that from years ago um, let's compare that to this newer newer one new to me anyway is the canute I've been using the Canute for, I don't know, a year and a half or so, and I really, really like it. So again, in the same way, we're gonna do uh, four wraps up clockwise. So this is one, and then two, and then three, and then four. So with the Michikan, we adjusted it so that the top leg was longer than the bottom. Now we're gonna do the opposite for the Canute. I'm gonna adjust it the opposite way so that the bottom leg is much longer than the top leg, okay? And now you'll see the similarities. So the bottom leg, again, is gonna pass in front of that top leg. It's gonna go behind the climbing line and it's gonna poke up again through a bite in that bottom cordage, okay? And then I'm gonna dress and set it such that um, both of the, uh, the terminal legs are the same length. So that's the Canute. Um, one really cool thing about the Canute is you could actually technically climb on it without a, uh, a tending pulley underneath it, of it. Because the, the, uh, the way that it works with these, the way that the wraps are on the backside, it actually kind of acts like a, like a built-in tending pulley. Okay, so hopefully you can tell what I did there. I'll show the uh, I'll show the Canute one more time, and hopefully you can see what I mean when I say that they're these two are very similar. So again, one one wrap, two, three, and four. So four wraps up clockwise, and then I'm going to adjust it so that the bottom leg is much longer than the top leg. Okay, so the bottom leg is gonna go in front of the top one. It's gonna go behind the climbing line, and then it's gonna poke up, poke up through there. Okay, and then I'm gonna dress and set it so that the terminal legs are the same length. All right, so that's the Canute hitch. That's my current favorite climbing hitch for cordage-based uh, systems. Hopefully you can tell what I did there. Hopefully that makes sense and you can get some value out of it. All right, until next time.